Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we would like to talk a little about the lost sheep. The bewildered sinner. St. Luke 15 verse 1 through 7. It says, Now the tax collectors and seniors were all gathering around to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you have a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. Jesus in the previous chapter, in chapter 14, the people were following him. They came, as the scripture says, they all gather around to hear him. But then the Pharisees begin to mutter. Some people would say they had a beef. They were complaining that Jesus was fraternizing with sinners. Little do they know that this was his great mission. The mission of him coming to earth to seek and to save that which was lost. So Jesus here was expressing to them in a parable. Really a parable is a story that he is telling them about things that they can understand in their earthly life but also as spiritual attachment or spiritual meaning to what he is saying. So here is Jesus in his teaching ministry. It seemed to attract those that are despised, the tax collectors and others who were outwardly sinners. Jesus would reprove them of their sins. Many would have acknowledged that he was right and turned to him for salvation. However, Jesus is willing and ready to save those who have acknowledged their sins. He gravitated towards them and he bestowed spiritual help and healing and blessings upon them. The scribes and the Pharisees resented the fact that Jesus takes special interest in these people. As far as they are concerned, we, the Pharisees and scribes, are the righteous ones and the others are the sinners. They did not show any grace to the social and moral outcast or lepers. They resented them. And in so doing, they hurled this charge against Jesus that he was receiving and he was eating with them. Of course, the charge is true. This was his main purpose. This was his mission. So in fact, they were ignorant of the mission of Jesus Christ or his complete teaching ministry while he was on earth. He was fulfilling prophecy. The Bible says he came to seek and to save those who are lost. So Jesus responded to their charge by telling them this parable of the lost sheep. Parable of the lost sheep is also found in St. Matthew 18 verse 11 through 14. But we want to look at a sheep. A lost sheep is the symbol of a 
heedless, thoughtless, helpless sinner. One who obeys his sinful passions. Passions that dictate to him without he realizing if I continue doing all these things, my hand is not going to be so nice. No creature strays more easily than a sheep. None is more heedless, none is more helpless in finding its way back home. None is more defenseless. And so this sheep would be exposed to all kinds of destruction, wild animals. And so even the Pharisees could understand what Jesus was saying about a sheep that is lost. Because they themselves knew that if they had a lost sheep, they would go in search of it. So here the scripture is telling us that there is a broken relationship with the one that is lost. The Pharisee themselves, they were in a broken condition, lost condition when it comes to God. But they wouldn't equate themselves to the others because they think that they were righteous. Remember, Jesus labeled them as a self-righteous because they would not admit that they themselves were sinners. But remember, the Bible says, for all men have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So Jesus also called them hypocrites because they knew that they were sinning but had no intention of repenting. And Jesus um, obtained no gratification from self-righteous hypocrites who are too proud to admit their wretched sinful condition. So the Lord Jesus is pictured here as a symbol of the Good Shepherd. And that's why he tells the story of a man that has a hundred sheep. Represented by the, 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 the people of Israel to include these, these scribes and Pharisees. He talks about the lost sheep that typified maybe the tax collector and the ones that they don't like to see Jesus dealing with. Those who acknowledge that they were sinners. So he was saying to them, the shepherd that has this 100 sheep, one went missing, one left. And so the 99 was there in the wilderness uh, grazing. But the shepherd was so concerned, who is referring to God and Jesus Christ himself, uh, that he says, I have to do something. I have to take a journey. And this journey include my descent to earth. So his years of public ministry, we see him being rejected. We see him being despised. We see him going through suffering, even death. And that's why the believer sometimes sing. But none of the ransomed ever knew what Jesus Christ really had to do. How deep was the waters that he crossed. Nor how dark was the night that the Lord passed through just to find his sheep that is lost. So the good shepherd went out searching desperately through hillsides, through rocks, even down in the ravine, trying to find the sheep. And remember, it's only one. But he has a special interest in that one, knowing that one that one was defenseless. That sinner needs a savior. That sinner needs help. And without the help of God, he will not make it back to the fold. So Jesus went out as the good shepherd, seeking for those who are lost, just like in the story told. 
and when that sheep is found the bible says the shepherd would take that sheep and bring it back home it's a beautiful picture when we look at jesus christ being depicted as the good shepherd how he takes that sheep and brings it home he calls his friends he calls his neighbor most likely they knew that the sheep went astray and this was a time of celebration a time of rejoicing over the last sheep and as for sinner, we would say over the salvation of the one who have repented and have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible said there is joy in heaven over one sinner who repents. But there is no joy over the 99 that think that they need no repentance. Sinners who were never convicted of your lost conditions sinners who choose not to accept the lord jesus christ as your personal savior all men must repent in order to be saved all men who wants to have eternal life must take a hold of god's grace his desire to see the lost return to him. See the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they seek honor. And you know, they seek to avoid shame. God seeks to glorify himself through his sheep, his lost sheep, the sons and daughters that have come home. So despite the good shepherd having 99 he left them to graze in the wilderness but he went out to find the one sheep that was lost he joyfully receives it brings it back back home and celebrated that this sheep came and is now back into the fold May God bless each and every one of us as we desire to be that lost sheep that is found by Jesus. We notice the sheep didn't try to come back to him. He doesn't know his way home. He is lost. And the longer it, it takes the shepherd to go after the sheep to find him, the more that sheep will be lost. It's just like this in that he keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper into sin but thank god for the merciful shepherd is the son jesus christ whom he sent to redeem us to seek us out and to save us even when we are lost god bless you and thank you again for watching